Which Kach and Prat is. I want to thank the Rabbeinu Shalom more than anybody. And I want to thank the Kala Lashen, Rabbi Yisav Yafi, and all the all those Heilige Yidin that are coming to be Mavakish and Muna. I want to see that there's an Avis in the world. It's such a schuss to be here. Shem should pay you all back. Anybody that gets involved in this sugya, this is the number one sugya, Muna Matakam. Look how Moshe is wrestling with it. Moshe Rabbeinu, take a look. Should I do it? Is it going to help? It's not, doesn't go, he's talking to the Abish himself, and he's not, you know, it's the Abish that made the world. You got to muchazach on a Muna Batakam. You got to work on it and herb on it. The Ramam says he'd rather teach a Muna Batakam than anything else. The best thing to teach is a Muna Batakam. Because that's the best sugi. You go, you're directly involved with the Abish himself. You're harving on that sugi Abish to test you and test you. Ramavin was tested in a moon a hundred years. An American would have gone, it's over. After two or three people call me up, they're married a year. They still have no kids. They're panicked. They are panicked. And now Ramavino, <laughs> look what happened. Look at me, how did he do it? How did they have some lunas for no, Because they used to test people in a moon and talking. Anyway, there's, you know, I have a, there's a Ghazal that Yosef HaTzadik met, that he met Yaakov at the end of their lives, and Yosef mentioned to, Yaakov said, Yosef, you never complained even once, and Yaakov did. So you imagine how you're going to feel someday, you're going to have to say, how did you, Manage, remember that in the Sayin and Amuna? All the Sayinists are in Amuna. Yeah. Did you quetch? Did you not quetch? Remember? Make believe you're looking back. Makes it much easier. Make believe you finished your life already and you're ready. They say before President Nifta, they show him a whole, the whole, the whole, your whole life will pass in front of you. Remember what you did this day and that day? And remember? Remember that's you then? Have a lot of embarrassing moments. <laughs> that's a, not a joke. A lot of embarrassing moments. Remember how you responded to this and how you got upset over there and how you wouldn't. And so anyway, the safe, safe of a person's life, they, they ask him, no, how did you, how did you go? How did you do on this Nisayin, on that Nisayin? No, did you get angry? Did you calm down? Did you get upset? Or did you take it like a man? Did you quetch your head off, blaming everyone else? How you, you want to end up with David HaMelech, who's, I suppose, told this to a lot of people lately. Hashem Amalei Kalo. Hashem Amalei Kalo. I'll take some wine, yeah? Loi Lorosh. I want to get some of that. This is Prat. This is not Stam wine. Take, take more, take more. This is good stuff, Rabbi Say. Ah, well, you have to get more of this. This is Nader Nader. But then I have problems if I want to take. I took a shackle before. To be zeichah to a lot of pratim, the real pratim they should have nachos from us. Take more, take up by some delicious wine. My my chassidim are always bringing me makedas rabbi. They understand the rebbe's needs. How are you doing? You always bring the sweetest guys. Pleasure to have you. Have a seat. Lachayim. In fact, I. In fact, four guys just rolled in. <laughs> I've already seen double. There's so many people here today. The more I drink, the bigger the crowd gets. <laughs> what are we drinking? Prat, it's called. This is, this is a winner. It comes in a thing like this, and it's red dessert wine. Look, I don't understand the younger generation. They love dry, sour wines. I can't, me and my wife sit there. You know, my, meanwhile, we get along, but there's one place where we really get along. When it comes to the wine of the younger generation, <laughs> we're both looking at each other. What are these guys drinking? You can't get near it. And these guys take it down. Oh, yes. If there's a drop of sweetness, they don't want to hear of it. <laughs> this is delicious. It's sweet. It's, it's geschmack. I like sweet stuff. I don't know about you guys. To me, sweet. I'm talking about Shisumam takim, but furish a pasik against all the younger generations. Drink sweet drinks. I once made a diak on Rosh Hashanah. 
The main thing is soda. Shisu mamtaka. That's my dear. Chul mashmanim. Eat Hungarian fat foods. Right? Like my wife, she's perfect for the that pasik. She fits in with the pasik. Ezra, it's a pasik and Ezra on Rosh Hashanah. You got to eat fat foods. So the Hungarian ladies are very good being mekayim that pasik, especially my wife. That's why I'm I'm busty. Don't look at my buttons. I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyway. But the um, drink sweet drinks. That's the lashon of the pasik. So I had so I, I have a right. A pasik is on my side that you're supposed to drink sweet stuff. I don't understand. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm joking. Take go back to anybody wants you can take. No. And you now. Such a pleasure to be alive. <laughs> That's number one. I'm happy that I am alive. Don't bother me. With, don't complicate me. I'm happy I'm alive. Don't be this type and that type. And this type and that. And this. And I made it. Panusa. Oh, Panusa. Yeah. What else is new? Well, Panusa. Panusa. You want Panusa. What do you, you have what to eat? Now, by the way, Parnosa is one of the serious Chayvah Sambavas. The whole Shabbat talking is into Parnosa. Parnosa is... Mm-hmm. You want to know people walk around stressed out? I'm telling you. 80% it's... How's, how's the Parnosa? Parnosa, they go with sugar. And Yerushalayim, what? There, he's right. 99. I want to tell you the truth. This is... It's a little funny... But I observed it, and I checked it out, and the guys have made it to me. I've seen people who had serious shalom bias. Kids going off the derrick, you know. That couldn't, shouldn't have killed a horse. I'm telling you, Parnassah hurted men worse. They want with sugar. There's something about Parnassah that makes a person crazy. Parnassah. And do you know that most of the people, almost all of them, who call me about Parnassah problems are eating... In fact, they're on diets. <laughs> diets. You ask you about Parnassah. You're on a diet, Meshuggah. Now, what's the matter? <laughs> he's that. He's not Parnassah. Parnassah's not going good. I owe this. I owe that. I so say, you can't laugh because it's, it's super hard. You can't explain it. it people, there are people walking around like zombies because of Parnassah. A lot of these very rich fellows are going around like, Spinning, it's not very. It's very hot in the sun. Saying, anyway, where does it come from? I'll tell you where it comes from. It comes from, you know, how many times I try to spell it out. Okay, what, when, where, how, and who? What? Let's pinpoint the problem. You know how many times the guy confessed to me, I have it. What I need. You know how many people have told me that? Almost everybody. So what do you go on with sugar? Well. Um, I owe money. Oh, so what's that all about? So, Mela, what? So, you owe money. I mean, so, I mean, first of all, I tell people if you're doing whatever you can, you're trying to do, you're sincere about it, not just throwing the guys in the garbage. So, you, you didn't do anything wrong. So, he, they're making me feel guilty. That's wrong. They can't do that. All these guys calling you up, where's my money? <laughs> They don't believe in God, unfortunately. That's bad news. Hashem, I'm like, hell, oh, these things happen. It's, uh, so let's say you made a fool out of yourself. You didn't mean it. I mean, so, so you know, take yourself apart. I once had a problem with, with money. And the Vatigas took me apart and explained to me it's all covered. The real problem that really bothers you is what are people saying about me? That's the whole problem in a nutshell. We'll take a uh, I covered evil, I've all them. I covered stupid, so they don't hold from you. So they're calling you a bum. They're, they're wrong. They can't do that. They'll let them call you a bum or let them, you think they're calling you. And there's so many calls and the pressure, the pressure. What are you pressured for? What are you pressured? What did you do wrong? Sit back and relax. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, I hope to have a half a million pretty soon. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Yes, yes. Boom. And <laughs> I would tell you, if I was one of those guys, I would hate this guy myself. <laughs> That's the way you talk. 
I got me sugar, and that's the way you talk. So I'm talking to him now. I'm not talking to them. I have something else to tell them. They have to understand, accept that's life, people. Let's say the guy is a bum and he hates you. So I was on the phone recently with a guy who's going through a lot of Yisurim. Yisurim came about, somebody did something bad to him. His wife is screaming. She's angry and angry. <clears throat> I says, the more angry you are, the less hashbar tayva you're going to get. What are you angry? What are you getting out of being angry? You need that? David Amalas didn't get angry at Shimei Megera who called him a mamzer, a tayeva, a reitzeach, and a noyef. One more. Nimret says, call him Ritz. Throwing rocks at him, Rosh San Edwin. That was Mordechai Zayda. Throwing rocks at him in public. And he, you know what he said? Oh, there's Bathsheba. That's the lady that, uh, we all know the story, David. Now you're getting what you deserve. Your son is getting back at you. Hashem is punishing you. How would you like that? For the Rosh San Edwin telling that to you in public. Isn't that delicious? <laughs> well, David was in a fan again. <laughs> He didn't mind at all. He loved that. He says, Zaya, you know what he probably said? Zaya, Masashem, Nagila Venis Ravaya. I'm waiting all my life to have this Nisayan. And finally got a full blast Nisayan. But Zainus, Arizal said, if a person would have any Seichel, he'd be running after Bazainus. That for sure was Makayim that He didn't mind the Zainus. Bazainus, David. The way he danced, there was a Bazain right there. You know, his wife couldn't handle it. He, he was Mabaza himself. There was no problem with him. He was Dafka. He wasn't into that sugya. That's Malchus, Yahaya. So the Mabaza me, you embarrassed me. You embarrassed me. How could you do that? Oh, how could you embarrass me? You know how I feel? How could you, you know how it feels? What do I, no. In a verdict they held giving covered not embarrassing others is big time. But when you they send it to you, come on, who cares? So embarrass me. Who cares what you say? You mean it? He said, makes it your objection told me once. The person you're so worried about, what his opinion is of you, you think his opinion means anything? The guy is from head to toe, a shtick negia. He's loaded with negias. His opinion isn't worth a penny. It's all negias. And people are total negias from head to toe. They are, the whole metzias is what they've heard since they're a kid. This is right. That I was taught that you got to do this. And you're not the type. I used to get very upset at certain types. That I, because I was raised with a certain mentality that if you're not doing this, then you're puzzled. I was, and I had a very hard time tolerating them until I worked on it. Now it's totally it's a different world. I love them. Today I know uh, it's a different world opening up. But uh, if you're raised with a way of thinking, boom, boom, boom. Look, what did they do in, in North Korea? The American POWs, they came back after 40 years. They let them out of Korea. You want to go home? No. Uh, you know who's home? Your father, your mother? No, I don't want to go to my father, my mother. Um, the television? No. The girlfriend? No. The dog? Even the dog, you don't want to go back. That's even the spot he's waiting for you. He's he's wagging his tail. They even didn't want to go back to Spotty. Can you imagine how they were brainwashed? They were brainwashed. They were brainwashed. This is the way to go. And they fell into it. American boys who have, in this hot, far eastern country, with these guys, you barely know the language, and you walk around pajamas. How do they go around? With half barefoot, I don't know. It's, it's weird. They eat rice. What do you eat? What do you Where There's no pizza. There's no sushi. There's no, there's no baked ziti. There's no ice cream. There's no chocolate. There's, there's, there's no life over there. No, Elam has it. No, I'm not going back to America. Never. This is the place to be. How did that happen? Brainwash. Brainwash. The first hundred times they brainwashed them and went over their heads. Come on. Don't tell me this crazy stuff. 
but they kept repeating it, it sinks in. Now I'm going to tell you something. It says in this week's Pasha, Moshe, Moshe. It said in two weeks, Pashas ago, Yaakov, Yaakov. What did the Hebrew, Rashi say? Losh So when you repeat something, the love is in there. You say it once. When you say someone's name twice, it means you love him. I want to say another one. When something's repeated enough times, you love it and you're stuck with it. That's how, that's how addictions are created. You, you, you repeat something enough times, you keep doing something. After a while, you're addicted. I happen to be addicted to the Black Gemara. I learned so many hours, I, I just can't deal with anything else. That's life. And sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I do have to close my Gemara and to do some Behebish's Rotsin or something else. And, eh, I, I, I hold, you got to learn. Because I'm addicted to Halavai, that should be the worst problem. But sometimes it is a problem. You know, Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky once, I heard Vishmak, had a shadow of learning of doing Zika Rab, I think it was. Rabbi Yaakov told him a shop of lotion, learn in Tadez Anoya. It's you enjoying it. Of a and Hashem is a different story. That's not anybody here under 22 or 25. It's not for you. Be addicted. Don't worry about it. Just learn. Don't listen to this. But, Sometimes you gotta hear that. You gotta hear it in all kinds of things. I mean, this is a chiddush to say even learning, but it's all over the place. People have negias. The thing they're always repeating, repeat. You keep doing that. They heard in the Far East the same shtick Torah again and again. You know, in Nevada, I heard this from Yeshua Schwartz. They took a whole group of people, and they they wrote on the on a blackboard. They wrote horizontal lines. A whole bunch of horizontal. They called in a hundred people, and they were, they were told, "We're going to put some. We're going to test a couple of guys." All the hundred people were told to you. You say it's vertical. They all say, "Okay, we got." And they come in. They say, "What is that line? Horizontal or vertical?" It's vertical. So the guy whom they're testing looks at him. Sure, gonna it's horizontal. Can't see straight. Then. They ask the next guy, what is that, horizontal or vertical? Um, oh, that's vertical. And this guy again looks at him, Nacham You know, the place is a bunch of kooks. And then the next guy, what do you say, it's horizontal or vertical? It's vertical. And this guy that's being tested starts thinking, hey, this is really funny. And then the next guy and the next guy, you're all vertical, vertical. And each guy, the guy says, hey, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, this tacker, like, I don't know, like maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe by the time they get to him, what do you say? Oh, it's vertical, there's no question about that. <laughs> so, Oilam Gailam, you know, a person is a, is a kaif bialma, that's what he said in the body. You're a monkey, whatever they feed you, that's gonna spit out after a while. But watch out with cheetahs. Don't be so stuck in your shita. You've been brainwashed. Baruch Hashem, you're brainwashed in a good mahalach. But it's all brainwashing. We're hoping, I want to brainwash people not to worry about covet so much, including, you keep brainwashing, you'll have a different life. I'm getting phone calls one it's after right another. What? It's right there, brainwashing, it's right there. Yeah, but it's brainwashed. You have a decision. <laughs> what do you want to brainwash yourself to? Pick the right thing. And go in that direction, and you're gonna steig. If you go, the, if you go the wrong direction, you know why do people do Hashem Racham? What the Germans did to to people? How did they get like that? Like it's, do you know that they what they they hated? They hated everybody. They were so cruel. It doesn't make no sense. You come from a society that that's the way it is. They have you know the Germans have grim fairy tales. You heard of it? Grim fairy tales, they say Grim is Kishmai Kenhu. It's stories of, of, of a witch eating up a kid, but we're talking about not the way I say, I'd like to eat you, you're so cute. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about it, she's checking the finger, is it, is it ready? He's in a cage. This is their fairy, they were raised on this. Yeah, that This is their 
Yirsa the Yankasa of the Amalekim. This is what they teach him in the Chadorim. You know, you have to give a good chinuch, teach kids, you know, how to witch. He's going to test the, these, these fairy tales that the, that the Germans, your maximum, the whole society, the whole society is built on cruelty. They don't, they have a tzal Amalekim. They could have been, or else there's no time on them. They could have been great. They have Ramavinu, Zeneklach. What happened? You go, you still go the wrong way. You repeat it enough times. You turn into a first-class animal. You repeat enough times. Meet the type of Ruba. You learn a lot, a lot of Musa, 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 Musa. And more Musa, more Musa. A Betachan, a Betachan. Before you turn around one day, you're a different human being. I'm getting reports. Quiet people are becoming Lebedic. Thanks to my stuff. I have a lot of that stuff. And call me up, Rabbi Mendel, before I learn. A lot of Israelis, and believe it or not, they, a lot of them are very quiet, you know. And they, they say, since they're listening to me, this guy used to be afraid to walk into a shul. Anything outside his Dalai Lama is petrified. Now he's going all over the place. Because he, the hak, hak, hak. My sister, Allah Shalom, she's a big tzaddik, I asked her, how do you raise your kids? She says, you hak, 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 again and again. Sooner or later, it gets in there. And they could do things you can't imagine. They're different people. Look, the Lit Elam, the whole world today, everyone's learning after the Hassan. It makes no sense. I'm sitting and learning. What about Panosa? And the ladies, they love it. You can't, a girl, the average Basak of girl, wants long to, he's going to learn five years? No, no, no. That's not, that's all he's going to learn? No. Five years, a lot of time. That's not an Emes of Ben Torah. I want a real Ben Torah. At least 10, 20 years. And he do it. You know how many guys I know have trouble because of their wives? I would like them to leave. But their wife wouldn't hear of it. She's my son, Nefesh. She looks like, she looks terrible. I mean, I don't know how she looks. I never saw her. But I know the way the matzah is described, the way his wife is sitting there and works like a dog with 12 kids in the house, kids around, and trying to feed them and get the kids to school on time with the buses. You know what's going on with the buses? Oh no, today, I was waiting for a bus. Oh no. And I says, okay, uh, another one of us, okay. The babalach, the kindalach, oh yes, yes, the kindalach. About the, we love you all. And then the, and the mommies waving, bye bye babalach. Suddenly, oh wait a minute, one minute babalach, bus driver, one minute. Oh, okay, what was this? He forgot his briefcase. One second. Mother runs back in. And there's a, car, a line of cars waiting. All these guys are spunkers. They're ready to. They, they, they're plotting American impatience, you know. They're the best. And everyone waits. And the mother says, Oh, you forgot your briefcase. She runs all the way back. The bus driver keeps everybody waiting. You know, nowadays they angle it to make sure you don't play any games. They angle it, and it's safety, yeah, yeah. angle it at the red light, and, and uh, yeah, what else is no? And the mother comes on me, yeah, Mama, I forgot, yeah, 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 bye, bye. And then she gives another kiss, and then, <laughs> oh, my God, is, you know, what these guys want for me? Torture for Americans. Ain't a ray of Penega ahead of <laughs> whoever has to go through this every morning. <laughs> now these ladies go through Nabos. I, I know more than one younger man that his wife won't hear of it. He's learning 25 years in Kailo. 20 years. And he, she won't hear of it. He's going to leave the block tomorrow? Oh, no, no. She's falling apart. She can't, <laughs> she can't see straight. She's going, no, my husband has to learn Torah. <laughs> I want to tell you something. I don't make fun of them. I'm doing it to be funny. The Elam Haba these ladies are going to get. <laughs> Once in a while, I wish somebody would have a talk with some of these ladies or talk with the men. Who's boss? You are her. I mean, what's going on here? Usually she's the boss. That's the mom. You know, I, I, you know, I'd say the German marriages are the best because they know the Chachil. Of course she's the boss. There's no question. Who, where does it say him Shabbat? Not in my Bible. Not in my Bible. That's a, I'm serious. That's the way they are. No, he's, she's in charge. Fuck it. There's a lot, a lot of people out there who hold the. I hope the ladies don't mind what I'm saying. 
But there's a lot, a lot, a lot of that stuff. Some guys don't mind. A lot of guys don't mind. She likes to work, you know. I also like to work. I love, I love work so much I could watch it all day. Watch the way everybody's working. I sit back. I love some some rabbits said, okay, they are workaholics. It's a bracha. For, if the husband's a nice, lazy guy, it's a beautiful match. <laughs> She'll work and he watches and because he's doing a good job. <laughs> he's a good husband. He knows how to compliment. <laughs> she works hard, my wife. She's good. She's good. What about you? <laughs> I'm a Ben Taylor. She, you know what she did to marry me? <laughs> you, what do you want me? I should work yet. She wouldn't let me. You think I'm joking? There are a lot of ladies out there. No! You'll learn. And she'll kill herself. She doesn't care. She'll say, yeah, he's a lady, he's a gabaldic. Anyway. The, um, where am I up to? I'm going to tell you a meridic of my sir, by side. Meridic. Meridic of my sir. Meridic of my true story. First of all, I want to tell you, I got a phone call from a big maggot here, from somewhere in North America, who told me, Rabbi Mandel is Hasidish. You're always talking about ego stuff, you know, hold from yourself, and you put down everyone else. Mavolt gemeint that a guy, I, I, I'm, I'm lapping it up. My self-esteem is like this, thanks to you. And you would think that you become a nasty person who doesn't care for others, I have found that my Abbas Yisrael is flourishing. It is. That's the sheet of Snavadi. If you're not afraid of people and you keep not being afraid of them more and more and more, first your agenda is don't, don't be so bad on the Chaveri, but you have to be nice. You have to be nice to me. I'm not scared. That's it. I don't care about Yenna so much. Don't. I go first. With time, you love people more and more and more because you're not petrified of them. You have, when you see them, there's room for love. I see people, I, I did this, it's, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it again. I wanted to kiss him and hug him. I loved him. Uh, his son is also a rabbi. And I wanted, to, I wanted to hug the old one. The son said, we don't do that by us. You can kiss his hand, but you can't do that. I want to hug. And he says, how about you? Okay, I'll do it. He, he was Michael on his cover. And I got to tell you a true story. It's, I heard the bar of bear. They, uh, the Litvaks don't aren't always good at the rules. You know, they have to know, see that there's a certain thing you do, a certain thing you don't do. See them are more, you know, so this happened, or Baruch Beth, I heard this Maisi years ago. I think it was punked in America, I believe. And Baruch Beth looked like a Rebbe. Look at his pictures. His, his face was, you know, if he was walking in the street and there was a woman a mile down the block, a mile, he knew about it. He knew, and he didn't, and he, he went the other way. He said, Baruch Beth was a cottage. You know what the Minchas Aluza told him? Tizachana push Steven. Put on some boots. You know, thousands of them will run after you. I said, so what is that pity? You lit back, you messed up. They'll be running after you in the streets. He was a Baruch HaKadosh, and he was a Kanai also. He fit in with the Milch of He was Gavaldic or both. Man. So once the Chsidim got up, they saw him. He said, oh, this is the real thing. I remember, he ran over to her Baruch You know, Baruch Ben once remarked, he never looked in a mirror since he was 13. And you can tell he never looked in a mirror. <laughs> and, you, know, you know, he once sat down on his, on his, and there was a newspaper there. So he went like this, automatically went like this, you know. He wouldn't touch it. Once, a Tiyani once walked into his house. A Tiyani once walked in. And um, Rebar Bear was nowhere to be found. I think it was the Briska Rub, I'm not sure. One of the, uh, whose house it was, I don't remember. But he was gone. And um, hours later, they were searching high and low. He's gone. Finally, finally, he opened up a closet. Robert's sitting like this, shaking. And I said, 
what are you doing? What's going on here? My Rebbe gesagt, as a Tzayini is choshed of Shvichas Domen. You hear that? Isn't that a beautiful story? My Rebbe said, the choshed of Shvichas Domen. And then, you don't brisk. How you feel is not the Nakuda. In Halacha, you can't walk out of that closet. Shvichas Domen, you can't, you know. It's a Halacha. Suffolk Shvichas Domen, you don't move. Is that something? They're great, the brisk is uh, standing. So, anyway, so he, Rebbe, once said, I heard this from Matra Shvach. He said, learning, I'm Shvach. You're Shemai, Mosa Shvach. Abish Israel. That's my line. He held himself. He loved Jews like crazy. I heard it happen in, in America, of all places. I see the shayit. He had saw Rebbe, and he went wild. And he ran over to him, and right ahead of for his hand, you know, you kissed over. Oh. So Rebbe looks at him. What's, what's, what's this? Oh, he wants a cushion. <laughs> he took him and he started kissing him. Oh, yeah. Do you want a kiss? Let's go. You know, a stranger. You want a kiss? Why not? He loved everybody. Rebbe, is that something? Look at this. Thank you so much. Bring them all in. Look at this. Our publications, our cover. Giving out more and more stuff. Take, take, Rebbe. Everybody come and enjoy. <coughs> anyway. So. Take it's good stuff. Rabbi Yadman is a big tzaddik. A big, this guy knows shots. He knows. The average guy in my kehillah knows shots. You know that? All my shavik. Except for me. I know Kabbalah more. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway. Um. But they know, they're, they're very, they're one after another. They know everything, my Shabbat. So, um, uh, he made a kitchen on Chavis Lavavos, would have been there to get a job. Anyway, he's a big tzad. This fellow who wrote it, he should be a rebbe all the time. He has nisim, he has stories, forget it. If the guy's sitting here, hold the run, I'm not going to say their names. There's a lot of guys here, who do they have stories? I should just call them up before I get my bond. What's your latest bypass? You know, the other guys sitting here, they're loaded. I'm hushing the guys in the machine too. I don't know you. <laughs> anyway, if you're coming to my stuff, you must be high caliber. So the thing is this. The uh, <coughs> it comes a my sense good idea. This woman was divorcing her husband. It was over. And the husband, they had to go to court. The Shiloh was getting something that she had. She was number one bottling of the century. She wasn't good at, you know, what you're supposed to. She was not covered. She was not in court. She lost. She lost all over it. You're not entitled to that money. It's his. And goodbye. And let him do what he wants. He wasn't going to give her a penny. And that was it. So she decided, I'm going to go. One mile she has, she's a Tumim. And that, she's A1. And Tumimus, I'll tell you how Tumimus pays off. And Tumimus, she's A1. She's, she, she, our last try at, at a Besden. She walks into the Besden the night before. She takes a book and she writes down all the miles of her husband. I mean, the guy don't ask what went on between them, like Gehenim on earth. It was Shreklach, one of the worst. Can't imagine him against Tabiyak. I mean, she was more of like, you know, and he's, I mean, the guy was, and what happened, and anyway, in court, so she wrote all of Milo. She's a Tumim. And whatever she remember for the, well, he Davins, you know, and he's, he once helped with the kids a little bit here and there, you know. He, he once said hello to me, I remember. Yeah, so she had that written down. And he, he uh, smiling, he's not good at that. I don't know if he knows how to do that. But he once uh, wanted to smile a little bit. Okay, put that down. He once smiled a little bit. And but at some, he has a high neshama. but that's why he's all messed up. And that's why he hates me so much, you know. Because of his high, he's not in this world, really. You know, so that's why she had a whole gentle about how great a husband is. Two, two pages she had. And, and she wrote it all down. No negatives, never. 
And then she went to court. It's a true story. She went to court. He was busy for three hours. He was destroying her in front of the... It was a bezin. He was destroying her. She's not cut out to be a wife and a mother. She's absolutely crazy. She has been diagnosed as being a Taita Mishugana. And she's this, and she gets worse every day, and she's incompetent, and she's nasty, and she's wicked, and she's not from, and she's not nice, and she's not, and the kids all hate her, and Ali, I'm, Al Kulam, we're all, you know, she's not with, she, she, he, he knew how to do it. He did a very, he was well prepared, like he did a job. And she, while he's talking, she was just thinking. She didn't say, she spoke just minimum what she had to say, she said. And she's just thinking, not even saying anything. He's a good guy, he davens three times a day. He would like to be good if he, he I'm sure once he was a nice kid, probably his mother probably smacked him too much. But he's really great. And she's busy with that. She had a chazer the same. It wasn't that much material. <laughs> and she had a chazer over the same material again and again and again. It's a true story. She had to say it again and again and again. For three hours, she's going with sugar. I mean, the court case, the curses that he gave her didn't bother her as much as I mean, oh, here we go again. You have the chazer till, till you get it into you, till whatever. After three hours, the court did. She wasn't worth it. She went. It was a third or fourth try. Every place she went, they said, Lady, you are not. Your name is not under this and it's not under that. And you, it's not Nagaya. You're lost. She got tens of thousands of thousands and thousands of dollars was all given to her. And her husband, for the first time, apologized, which made, didn't make sense. And she even started saying nice things about the guys in court. And, and the Bezin, who are a little bit belligerent towards her, oh, he's really nice, that's just the way he looks. He probably has a teenage daughter that makes him act so funny. She had all that stuff. And look, look, at, look at the power. I did this myself many times, many times. I go in my own, once needed a favor from somebody. Okay, let's say, um, Chassidish. It's a different, but I want to, I don't want to get to the, the true details, but I'm different than him, very different. And he hates my group, like first class. And I needed a big favor from him. And I'm in the middle of talking to him, he's in his office, and I needed this favor from him. One time I was full of betachem, and while he was talking to me, I was talking to him. And I was just in my own world. And I was saying, Avishta, I need a favor from you, not him, from you. And I kept repeating it. Please, get, while he's talking to me, give me all his drudges and how he doesn't really hold from this and, and he's really not my friend, really this, really that. And I just, I, I was just in my own world. And I kept repeating it again and again, Avishta, I need a favor from you. The safe, the safe upon him, the office, he gave me everything I wanted. And not only that, he became my biggest chassid, one myself. Then I needed the same favor. I was betachem. No, not that stuff. I wasn't doing that. I was just not, I was ignoring him in my mind. I did not take that person as a serious, you're not what we're dealing with over here. Um, I have one address for what I'm involved with. I, I don't deal with people. I go to the Shairish of all Hatzlachos. His brains belong to the Yebishter. His ideas, his Chachmas, the way he looks, all the scary stuff about him, his power. He, he's not, he doesn't count. And I was heavy into that. Another time I needed a favor, and this time I lost all my betachem. This is really bad. So I daven to please give me betachem. I daven, as he took, I believe whenever the guy's you're by a doctor and the doctor's busy with someone else, that time is there for you to go to the true doctor. Because that when you go to that doctor, it ain't going to make a difference. When you go to the real doctor, you'll get your refusal, and I promise you. You keep doing that in the... When you have to wait for a doctor, there's a reason. 
The Abish is giving you a chance to harvest on a moon and betachem. That's the real reason why you have to sit and wait. You have to wait longer. Good. More betachem now for sure. I'm cured. I'm serious. Take that time. The guy has a phone call in the middle. That phone call. Good, good. You don't feel impatient. I can't wait to talk to him. Oh, who needs him? I thought, Abish done. Now, I'm asking you again. I want to come out of this. You're the real doctor. He doesn't count. Please, you can easily take care of me. With you, it's a joke. I did this many, many times. It works like magic. In fact, when people tell me that, okay, Rabbi Mendel, what should I do? Should I go total betachem or should I do a shtadlis? I say, between you and me, bestadlis ain't that bad. If you know how to do it, Rabbi David Lynch is that's how told me this. You could stag your belt when you're doing hishtadlis by making a joke out of the hishtadlis. Make a joke out of it. Don't take it serious. I had to have an operation. The doctor saw me four times and he said, it's a shrek what you got. And I saw four doctors. They all said, and I called my Rebbe. You need an operation? The Abish can make the operation much better than all these guys. And I heard it. I've been talking, I've been talking. By the time I came for the operation, the doctor takes a look. Hey, it looks much better. I heard it. I heard it from the horse's mouth. He's not supposed to talk like that because he's losing. Yeah, he's doctor. <coughs> I cured myself. I need you. I promise you. Because all the time, I was able to go to the doctor. An internal thing, you know, that was blocked up and this and that. <laughs> and <coughs> Abish, you will take care of whatever a thing that you couldn't really deal with it wasn't it, the whole operation was kula hai lie. it wasn't worth much <laughs> halavai we could help a little here and there it wasn't worth the doctor took a look at me and he says wow it looks so different in front of all the nurses it look, hey it looks much better emuna betuchen you go to the Abish to, so I tell people, as long as you go to him and repeat it, a lot of times repeat, again and again and again, repeat. Abishta, you're going to do it. And listen to this story. This is a of a fellow. As you say, you're going to start, start believing it. That's learning Muslim. Without a safer, just keep repeating it. With a safer, as also, everything's good. Whatever you do is good. Now I'll tell you, Mary, the a 30-year-old, Chassidish Abacha. You know what that means? A 30-year-old became a chassid. How did that happen? I just got the news. The father calls me up. He wants me to come to the chassid. I just had, I had a 22-year-old chassidish, a girl, became a kala. I thought, Mashiach's coming. They, they, they thought, Mandel, you're in Memphis. And now we got a 30-year-old chassidish Abacha. What did I do? Two months ago, I told the father, to, um, oh, he, and he was being read every maneuver of Mukesh Chin that you could find. All they, they took out of the skeleton closet all the weirdest, craziest girls you ever met. Those that was, this, well, she, had, she doesn't have that much medication, but she'll function off and on. Like, <laughs> maybe you'll have one or two kids. I don't think she's capable of more. If you'll have any children, we have, that's what he was read one after another. 30 year old Chesidah Shabbacha. Well, this one, well, unfortunately, she's not, yes, um, well, she's not too smart. She might do some strange things. You know, you'll find out if you marry her. You know, they gave up the guy eight years ago. They gave up on him. And now, when so the father calls me up, what do I do with my son? I said, you got the right address. Mandel will do a mypus for you like nobody's business. Wait till you hear Mandel's mypus. Listen to this. His wife doesn't like me. <laughs> he loves me. His wife. Ah, uh, Mandel, I can't show him. Mandel, uh, yes. <laughs> she knows me already. Mandel, finish for me. Medav holding the feet on the ground. Mandel is in the luft. You know, you can't do this. He's up in the clouds. He doesn't know what he's doing. You have to have your feet on the ground. And this is not Anyway, the best part of the story is what the way he dealt with it was nerdic. Well, he says, yeah, he was a tough guy. He's a Yishami, this guy. He ain't no pushover. He said, uh, 
Zion. It's how yeah for Mandel. You know, he wasn't one of those pushover husbands. He held his own. And he's he kept repeating every day. Just I told him ten minutes. He says I couldn't do ten minutes. He did two, three minutes. Ah, fine Bacher. He's a great guy. Everyone wants him. Everyone's running after him. He's he's and he can, and his wife used to laugh at him. That's the best part of the story. To put a wife in his place. Wait till you find out what happened. After two months, not more, he he got a shidduch. He was on the telephone with me thanking me because I promised you're getting a top notch shidduch, no chachmas. And he got on the phone me, Rabbi Mendel, Kenach, Mizdank, and Ginnik. I got exactly what you said I would get. I got a knock a dick ago. They didn't read him ever a shidduch like this. Even when he was 18, he couldn't get a girl like this. And he got himself The best part of it is, no, Davidson? <laughs> Mandela's. <laughs> That's the best part of the whole story. No, uh, you're just a smarty. Feet on the ground, huh? With your feet on the ground, your buck will be around another 20 years. <laughs> With your feet on the ground. He didn't tell me. He's... <laughs> But it was good enough for me. I was rolling with him together on the phone. The best part of it was putting her in her place. <laughs> that part I liked the most. I'm joking. I'm joking. You have to take me serious all the time. Uh, anyway. The, um, now here's my latest story. This is last night. My latest Memphis. The Debbie's Memphis. I got a phone call yesterday. First of all, somebody who davens in my shul. That the easy lay this. Is my latest line. That's for the moment. Right now, Shaduchim is getting in. I got all kinds of things happening with Shaduchim. Atchias Amesim is old story with me. <laughs> you know that they call me up. They say, you know, the VD booklets. Before you say VD, call Mandel. And usually, you'll have Atchias Amesim. <laughs> Mandel can do it. I told you what happened. It's so funny. People mun me all over the place. What happened lately in my school? You know, any guy who has any issue, no, Mandel. They, every day they look at me, Mandel, no one's allowed to have issues. <laughs> if, if I'm here, all issues are bottle. <laughs> you know, they expect me. I remember once, Kiddush Levada, they asked me to, um, there was 100 people there by Kel Shimson standing over there. Levada wasn't out. And the guys are looking and looking. So, oh, Mandel. <laughs> no. They're angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> they know, Woody, how can you just stand there? <laughs> this kid Shabbat, how can it be? So I was like, this Amish that are on my case. <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. Like, nothing again. Nothing happened. So I made a Bezdin. I said, let's try Bezdin. And boom, one came out. But anyway, where am I up to? Why didn't it work without the Bezdin? What? Why didn't it work without the Bezdin? I don't hear you. Why didn't it work without the Bezdin? That's because the COVID is. Sh- uh, my Davis had decided, Mandel, you're shaker from the COVID I'm giving you. I need you need to tone down. So I day Bezin. That's the way I teach it anyway. <laughs> w- what was the story I was telling before? The birth. Ah, oh, good, good. At least somebody remembers the birth. This is my latest thing. You need, you have trouble with kids? Get, get, watch. I, say, I, I guarantee every person that calls me. I had three of them. Oh, so one of them, the guy called Ted, the beginning of Shabbos, he comes over to me and says, my wife is, is in labor and it's not easy. The doctor already said, you know. I had another one who said, it's going to be a cesarean. I says, no cesarean. Positive. But last time I was, not this time. When you come to Mandel, there's no, I promise you. I got a phone call like a little while later. No Caesarea, smoother than ever, beautiful. Mandel, go to Dr. Mandel. I know medicine better than him. I go with the Amish. Anyway, listen to this. So this guy said, it's going to be, it's a tough one, he told me. I had him in mind. I don't know why I was a little scared because it was too much for me. I'm so, and sure enough, my Shabbos, I called him up. A half hour, the whole mindset. How's that one? The whole thing was a joke. Like I said, the doctor says it'd be hard. I say, oh, I say, it's easy. Okay, now here comes another one. Last night's. 
The other one, I get a phone call, Rabbi Mandel, you don't know what a bomb life is you are. No, well, let's say this one. His <laughs> sister, his sister called me up to get a bracha because she was holding by labor. She's holding, she's all nervous. And she was still calling Mandel. She calls me up and she couldn't get through. So she calls her brother. I couldn't get through them. Now her brother tells her, don't worry, Mandel already passed in a long time ago. If you try to get through to me, even if you don't, it's just as good. She went and she had an easy later like nobody's business without getting through to me. I told you the mice that happened years ago. It happened years ago. It's not so long ago. A year ago, I think. There you go. This lady from Yerushalayim, she's sick like a dog, crying on the phone. <coughs> I can't hold out the Yasudim. Now, I had said that day, Abishta, hey, whoever calls me, Whoever calls me, give them a Yeshua, even without reaching me. So many people complaining I can't reach them. They tried, that should be enough, it's enough. Established. So this lady, two days later, I called her up, and, uh, and I says, how's your, um, how's your, how are you feeling? Oh, Rabbi Mendel, something funny happened. As soon as I called you, I suddenly felt better. Did you hear that one? That was the day I asked, as soon as they call me, make them better. And she, two days later, oh, it's no need to call. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. I said, hey, Bishter, make them better as soon as they call me. This one, I called again. The next time this person called me a year later, is that story really true? I didn't believe in myself. Is that story really true? Now, what happens when you get these things? Now, why do I have such siyat of shmaya with this? I have another area that I'm lately, lately very good with. A uh, bacha needs a good man, come to me. You want a good, you know how many guys have told me, suddenly I got a new chabru, says that, a lot of that stuff. Okay, now why am I getting this? So, I have my reasons. But one thing's for sure, if I ever sit down and decide why is some, I don't say, ma zois os li kim lonu. I don't do that when something bad happens. When something bad happens, how should I know? I don't do anything bad. Sugarnished. I don't shtelzach on din. When something bad happens, I don't say which Avera did you do. No way! Unless there's an easy fix. I have, I know it's obvious, and let's fix it and we'll do it. That's different. But otherwise, never. When something good happens, I say, why do I deserve this? So I'm all, and why do I deserve that? I spend all my days saying how lucky. How, how great I am. I'm getting so much schar. I must be a tzaddik for this reason, a tzaddik for that reason. That's all I do all day. I'm a great guy. I try to anyway. It's not easy. The Yitzhahara, the Yitzhahara wants to put you down 24-7. Now I'm going to tell you Merdeh Gavad. I just told this to somebody on the phone. It's half of a fella. Half of a fella. Half of a fella. A baisai chazadis. Maishu Rabbeinu is the leader of Klai Yisrael. I'm not the right. First of all, in order to be a leader, you need three things. First, you've got to be raised in a Paris palace. Well, I'm not comparing Chasr Sholem or Maishu. You can't even discuss Maishu Rabbeinu. But you've got to be born an American Harry. You have to be born, yeah, Gululim all over the place, right? That's why he took the Nanim. So I'm not Aaron, because he knew. The main Yitzhiyas of the time was a Ruchnius to get us out of our Tuma of Memte Shari Tuma. That's claw. Moshe Rabbeinu is the man because he knew the dirt of the tribe more than anyone else. And whenever he got a market, it was Paroi V'chalavodam. So Rashi, he started. He was the Makarat Tuma, the worst of them. He gets the first, the first frog jumps on his head. He gets first. So Paris, so much had to be born in Paris Palace with the Makar Atoma. Now when he pulls himself out of it, he is a true leader. The leader who understands the, the matzav of the lowly, of the ruchnis, the problems, and he lifts himself higher. That's, the, that's why I want, I want to tell you. That's why Aaron wasn't raised in the palace. Either. That's why. But now it's so interesting that Moshe is... Oh, another thing to become a leader is make mistakes. First, you gotta you gotta be you gotta be a Harry. That's number one. 
you got to be a guy come from a nasty background. That's Aleph. Be raised in a Paris palace, Hashem Yerachem, the worst Chorban in the universe. By the way, Yosef HaTzadik also. He was the leader in the last week. He had to hang around Mitzrayim all his life. And all the Makarat Toma, unlike his brothers. That's why he's the leader. The, why, the guy that's in the garbage can, he's going to turn out to be the leader. That's what I'm so I'm showing. And then you have to be making mistakes to Mashiach. Moshe Rabbeinu, you spoke Loshan Hara, right? Now your hand's like this. Oh, you didn't make a bris mila. That's why Hashem is upset. And how do you speak and you don't listen? He's making mistakes all over the place. That's part two. You want to become a great leader? First, start off in the garbage can. Secondly, make mistakes left and right. And last but not least, have zero self-esteem. Then you're ready for greatness. Watch. We don't understand much. It bothers me to say this. But for us, for us to understand, look how many times it's ridiculous how he, he's talking to the Yiddish to himself. I'm not right. I'm our Ralph I can't do this. I can't do that. How about Aaron? And if the Hashem explains him and everything, that's everything, well, I still don't want to do it. Uh, and the Yiddish can't deal with him. That's, that, now you know if you have those three things, you're ready for leadership. Anybody who feels he's ready, he said, look at the psukim. And it's, you got to be complicated. Not an easy mom and Bashem. You run, Davis that says you run. No, you got to be, I don't hop, and what do we, how do we do it? And what will, and they're not going to believe me. And then this is, that's, if you want to know how to do it. Okay, now here's another zach. I'll tell you another, another thing is Now here comes this. Another thing is just for us. Now, what do you do? How come that Yosef HaTzadik Moshe Rabbeinu feels insecure. I can't do it. And Yosef? Oh, I'm doing it. I'm the leader. I'm boss. I'm taking over the world. You're all bound out to me. I'm in charge of everything. There's no one bigger than me around here. Ain't any God who advises me. His whole life, he, he never once said, and never, ever, ever, he's on top of the world. Look how extreme different he is than Moshe. What do I say to that? If you're a person that all day long you're being told you're the God of the there's no one against you, you got to go and say, I'm nobody. That's Moshe. But if you have the whole family killing you, everyone against you, and you got to say, I'm the best guy in the world. What do you say to that one? Let's dig. Yes. Now I'll tell you what. I'll tell you one more one. I'm glad you guys are accepting my vetlach. I always feel I need more stories. Listen to this. This is very volume. From the time we'll stop, we'll, we'll end with this. We'll put our, okay. Listen to this one, my rabbi say. By, by, by the way, it's Shevavim. Chaparain. Shevavim is Kaidish Kadashim. Don't waste a minute. Shevavim, you could become the biggest tzaddik in the world. But remember, by the chesidim, by most, by a lot of people, it's kedusha, and that's probably that's the pashtus. By your soul taplin, by the bnei tyrin, sit and learn, and you won't have another kedusha problem. Learn double, and by Reb Chaska Levinstein, it's amuna. These pashtus are full of amuna. By a not such a cotton. What do I say for our dog? Betochen, more betochen. Be angry at yourself. Come back. Why don't I have more betochen? That's the again. Chill out more. Me love it. Of course, all the other stuff also. You can be used of everything. What? Yeah, it's the same thing. Same. It's, it's all the same. You do what works for you. Don't listen to nobody. You make your own sheets. By me, this works. But I say, that nothing's going to work. Get ready. You're going to make a Kabbalah and watch nothing work. Watch nothing. It's like, Nothing's going to work. You both, for the next year, I'm never going to do the, you know, Two hours later, boom, worse than you were ever. That's, get ready for that. That's our Seder Advarim. Now you know you're on the right track. <laughs> that's, what, that's the matzah. You know, I want to tell you something. That the Shemer Munim, the Helig Shemer says, all those people that work on Kedusha, they work on anything is probably true. And they, they make a Kabbalah, boom. Make a Kabbalah again, boom. They're always messing up. None of Kabbalah's work. You know what he says? Keep it up. Someday, all those Kabbalists will get together 
and they will save you. You won't get near Gehenna. You'll be saved from everything. The frustration of making Kabbalah that doesn't work. Oh, you know what you're going to get for that? Just keep it up. They're going to add up when you just keep it up. Try, no, this year I'm going to be there and try it. It's going to be much gear. That's all or nothing. You should encourage Kabbalah, even though you know you're not going to keep it. Make the Kabbalah, I don't care. And make it. You know how many times I had to do this year? How tar is the dark? I make up all this. I had hundred dollar knosses. If I do cash and cash, hundred dollar, because I know this is not easy. The, the worse it is, the harder it is. You should know the bigger you are, the more trouble you're having. Now it's a sign that you're you're destined for greatness. Not you're destined. You're there. Only big people have these type of stuff. Our door are the biggest people around here. Do it. Now I want to just tell you. Leave you with this last thing over here. Now. It says, no more Yisrael. From now on, it's Yaakov, right? No more Yisrael. Now Yaakov. Now Malach said, no more Yaakov. And the Abish themselves says the same shtick No more Yisrael, no more Yaakov, only Yisrael. You change your name completely. Now, after, since, the, my, since the Malach said that, I counted 70 Yaakovs and 20 Yisrael. What happened to La Yikari? What's going on here? Do you know what the Mepharshim say? Archaim HaKadosh and Rabina Hirsch both say Yaakov means Atzvus, when you're all depressed, you're called Yaakov. Yisrael means when you're Besimcha. So if you're any, anybody's worried about the ratio of what's going on in his life, are uh, you Besimcha, you're not Besimcha, here goes. Since then, 70 times you're in the garbage can and 20 times you're Besimcha. So that's the matzah, just in case you're getting all worried, I'm not besimcha. That's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm joking. But that's, that's such a joke. I have a different shot. Yaakov means struggling. Yaakov means struggling. Because Rashi says Yisrael means sarisa. And Yaakov means akev, you're sneaky, you're not making it. You're not, you're one of those. So I want to tell you like this. Be'etzem am Yisrael. You got to look at yourself. No, 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 no. I am Basim. Right now, temporary insanity. That's not the real me. You say, I'll call Yaakov. I'm not really called Yaakov. I'm really Yisrael. It looks like that. It's baloney. But you know how many Averis you're doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Yisrael. That's the way you got to look at yourself. The real me is all the way up there. Don't change a mashu. They should help. We should go to Derech HaTerev HaYedah and be Zechah to be Shavavim should be. Go back. The Gula Shalema, Shalema, we're going to have a Rikida there.